I hate talking to cockeyed people, and they confuse the fuck out of me. <laughs> fuck cockeyed people. And then, like, the weird thing about it, I'm talking to this person, he was cockeyed, and then somebody came up next to him and joined the conversation, and it was like he was still looking at me, but he was talking to them. I didn't know if he was talking to them or looking at me or looking at them or talking to me. I'm like, who the fuck are you talking to? You oh, ladies and gentlemen, anybody that want to tell me just what in the Chris the Cockeyed Killer is going on here? Who, who? Uh, no, we, we know. Kaka, Kaka, come here, Kaka, Kaka, Kaka. That's just, that's his code name. Kaka, Kaka, come here, Kaka. Kaka, the people of America. It's about time for y'all to declare cockeyedness a handicap. So in that way, you could get a national spokesperson and they can properly inform us regular eyed people on what I to talk to when we talking to your cockeyed selves. Because by the time that we finish with conversations with you, we got headaches, can't see straight, need to go get MRIs, have scat scans, got to see neurologists. And you got the nerve to be offended? I'm not cockeyed. I have a wondering eye. Well, I wonder when it's going to stop rolling around your head like a roulette wheel. Round and round and round it goes where it stops and nobody knows. Or, I don't have a cockeye. I have a lazy eye. We'll tell it to get up. And come back and join the conversation. And stop going on roam like a cell phone right in the middle of it. Got me wanting to put on my Nikes and stuff so I could go track it down.